maybe they should have let an intern handle their Twitter account. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest tweets by celebs. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the instances where famous figures made us wince in 140 characters or less. I will not be tweeting. It's no argument, you just gotta... You gotta yeah, and you, you apologize gotta, you, to them, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, we spoke, yeah. we spoke. Number 10, Bow Wow drinks, drives, and tweets. Forget like Mike, it would have been dangerous to step into Bow Wow's shoes this time. After a night of partying in Miami, rapper Bow Wow tweeted and let followers know that he'd had a bit too much to drink. But it was his follow-up post that really caused a stir. While driving in his Lamborghini, Bow Wow announced that he was, quote, tipsy and his, quote, face was numb. Fortunately, no one was hurt by his combination of drinking, driving, and tweeting. Bow Wow faced no legal consequences, but did apologize for his reckless behavior. Hopefully, he'll take his own tipsy advice in the future and let someone drive him home. You know what? Just don't mess up Mona, all right? Number 9. Bill Cosby's Ill-Timed Meme Campaign When it comes to comedy, timing is everything. As a comedian, Bill Cosby should have known that already, but apparently not. Twitter sure obliged in giving him a refresher course, though. As news of accusations against him spread in 2014, Cosby's Twitter account invited users to use his face to make memes. The resulting images were unsurprisingly less than lighthearted. In what any internet-savvy person would have told him was the only possible outcome, people used the meme to call attention to the allegations. Although it didn't take long for Cosby's account to shut things down, the tweet clearly failed to yield the desired effect. Number 8. Lindsay Lohan's Hurricane Sandy Tweets Lindsay Lohan may have played a mathlete in Mean Girls, but she'd have a hard time convincing anyone she studied meteorology. In 2012, as news outlets delivered updates on Hurricane Sandy, which would prove to be the most deadly of the year, Lohan took to Twitter. She referred to the devastating storm as Hurricane Sally and said that people should be calm and, quote, not project negativity. Considering positive attitude couldn't prevent the hurricane from taking lives and causing billions of dollars in damages, the tweet was not well received. Many criticized her post as inappropriate and out of touch. Lohan's heart may have been in the right place, but it was an unmitigated social media disaster. Number 7. Jason Biggs Defends His Flyer Miles On July 17, 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was shot down, claiming over 295 lives. That same day, actor Jason Biggs asked Twitter if anyone wanted to buy his frequent flyer miles for the airline. When met with backlash, he wrote a series of angry defensive tweets, insisting that it was just a joke. Biggs ended up issuing an official apology that night for those who'd been offended. And this wasn't even the first time he succeeded in stirring up controversy with 140 characters or less. But this time around, thanks to the overwhelming bad press, it seems that he learned his lesson. Number 6. Anthony Weiner's Twitter Gets Hacked Hacking someone's personal account is a terrible crime, when it actually happens. Former Congressman Anthony Weiner told the media that he had been hacked when a suggestive picture of a man in his underwear appeared on his Twitter account in 2011. Well, let's remember this Twitter picture in question is a hack or a prank that someone posted on my Twitter page with someone else's name in it who says she never got it and doesn't know me and I don't know her. After more explicit pictures of the congressman emerged online, he admitted to being the source of the original tweet. Last Friday night, I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended to send as a direct message as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. Weiner would end up resigning from Congress less than a month after the initial post. His political and legal troubles certainly didn't end there. But isn't it kind of impressive to think that Wienergate kicked off with just one little risque tweet? It's a testament to the power of social media. Number 5. Kurt Schilling Connects Islam to Nazis Former baseball pitcher Kurt Schilling often takes a strong stance when voicing his opinions, but many felt that he crossed the line with an image he posted on his Twitter account in 2015. The picture shows Hitler saluting and comes paired with so-called statistics, comparing the incidence of extremism among Muslims to that of Nazism among Germans in 1940. Though he quickly deleted the post, the damage had already been done. Schilling's implications about people of the Islamic faith got him suspended from his telecasting job on ESPN for a season. 
Considering what this cringeworthy tweet cost him, you'd think Schilling would limit his commentary to matters of baseball moving forward, but apparently not. The left is about uh, your race, your sex, your sexual preference, your identity, who you worship, who you don't worship, who you want to sleep with, whether you're in transit. They're all about identity politics. Number four, Gilbert Gottfried's multiple tsunami tweets. Tragedies are usually a time for reflection, but comedian Gilbert Gottfried took the opportunity to practice his craft poorly. After a tsunami devastated Japan, he wrote a series of tone-deaf tweets that joked about the flood conditions. Many found Gottfried's posts about the disaster to be utterly tasteless, especially considering the high death toll. The negative press was so bad that shortly after Gottfried's 24-hour Twitter blitz, the insurance company Aflac fired the comedian as the voice of their duck mascot. Just one giant duck! Gottfried may have seen some humor in the tsunami, but it's clear that to the public, it was no laughing matter. Number 3. Donald Trump's Mystery Tweet It was the tweet that broke the internet for a couple of days. On May 31, 2017, the world was forever changed when President Trump tweeted, quote, despite the negative press, kofefe. During the six hours it remained up, people scrambled to decode what the mysterious word meant. Was it a code to the Russians? A purposeful distraction? A simple late-night typo? The news media and internet had a field day with articles and memes everywhere you turned. The president and a small group of people know exactly what he meant. Maybe we'll never know the true meaning of kofefe, but we'll always remember the odd tweet that made an entire nation go, what's that word? I went to an Ivy League school. I'm very highly educated. I know words, I have the best words. Number two, CeeLo Green's definition of assault. In 2014, singer CeeLo Green faced charges of sexual battery after allegedly slipping ecstasy into his date's drink before taking her back to his house. After only being found guilty of possession of an illegal drug, he took to Twitter to share his definition of rape in a series of tweets. In one of the posts, Green stated that, quote, people who have really been raped remember, among other things. These tweets would have been upsetting coming from anyone, but considering how lightly Green had just gotten off relative to the allegations, Twitter users were downright furious. Green later apologized and deleted his account temporarily, but the screenshots live on. Before we permanently block our top pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Number one, Spike Lee tweets the wrong address. Always do the right thing. That's it? That's it. George Zimmerman's shooting of the unarmed Trayvon Martin was a tragedy that affected many in different ways. Nearly a month after it happened, film director Spike Lee retweeted a post that claimed to contain Zimmerman's address. However, the address actually belonged to an elderly couple that had nothing to do with the shooting. Although Lee wasn't the only one to tweet the address, he was still the subject of a lawsuit. He settled with the Floridian couple for a sum of $10,000 for the hate mail and harassment they received. Lee's tweet is proof that even tweets posted with the best of intentions can have severe and unexpected consequences. Angry does not, yeah. does, does not, is not a justification for, for stupidity. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.